So sometimes we have formulas that work together. And so a lot of times we will get our formula kind of, it's kind of like getting our formula instead of one big formula, they give us, give it to us in a couple, a few or a couple of smaller formulas. So well, what do I mean by that? Um, so we had, we had solved the um, formula that relates Celsius temperature to Fahrenheit temperature for Celsius. Okay, so we have the cell C equals 5 nines um, times F minus 32. Um, but there's another way to measure, or way that temperature is measured called Kelvins. And so to get the Kelvins, if we have the Celsius temperature, we just take that temperature and add 273 to it. And that gives us the Kelvins. So what what these two, these two formulas work together. We could put in a number for Fahrenheit, get the Celsius temperature, and then take the Celsius temperature and plug it into this formula, and that would give us the Kelvin. So suppose we measured a Fahrenheit temperature of 41 degrees, and we wanted to find the Kelvins. So what we do, we would take the 41 and put it into our first formula for our F to get the Celsius temperature. Okay. And then so 41 minus 32 gives me 9. So I have 5 ninths times 9. And think of it as 9 over 1. And so we get just 5. Okay. But now I need to take what I have for, now I have C, and so I can take that C and put it in for uh, C in my formula for Kelvins. So I get 5 plus 273, which is 278. And there I'm done. So and these formulas would be, or these formulas would be considered simultaneous equations because they share variables and work together and we can use them together. Um, you could have some of uh, different examples of uh, simultaneous equations that aren't uh, quite so concrete. 